about the heat on this first alert day impacting the start times for local high school football games. Steve was just talking about this kickoff for the game of the week between Hillside and Southern Durham High School has been pushed back to 8 o'clock with the hope it will be a little cooler for the players. Our Tamara Scott joins us live now with more. Good afternoon, Tamara. Good afternoon, Anna. Yeah, well, with this heat that's coming in later this afternoon, many of those games have been pushed back in our area, and that's just because they want to keep these players safe while they are out on the field. So our high school game of the week, as you mentioned, Hillside versus Southern Durham pushed back to 8 o'clock. The Jordan game also pushed back to 730, and in Cumberland County, schools pushed back the start time of five games. Most will start at 730, and the Grace Creek versus Red Springs game is at 8 o'clock. We spoke with David Hackney, the district athletic trainer, here in Durham and he says that they will be requiring water breaks every 15 minutes during the game as well and have trained professionals on the sideline. Our licensed athletic trainers and our coaches do an excellent job of trying to educate our student athletes on uh, the benefits of hydration, uh, what they need to do to take care of their bodies and so we just want to make sure at Durham Public Schools safety is our top priority. So we want to make sure that we take care of our student athletes and if that's pushing back a time football time just to make sure that they're safe. That's what we'll do. And of course, pushing back the game times is a great way to try and beat the heat, but it's also best to stay hydrated. So here's some tips. Make sure to hydrate before the game 16 to 24 ounces of water or a sports drink during the game. Have unlimited access to water and allow the athletes to drink as much as they want and provide access to sports drinks when their exercise is greater than 60 minutes or if that is in that intense heat. In addition to that, there are also signs of heat illness you can look out for, which include heavy sweating, painful cramps, weakness or fatigue. Any dizziness or confusion you have, a fast pulse, even nausea, red skin that's, or skin that's hot to touch. Now, these are all tips for players, but also for you if you are sitting in the stands. Make sure that you're staying hydrated as well. Keep an eye out for those signs. Try to find some shade if you can. Tamara Scott, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.